Hey guys, it's Josh. Um, this week's topic is Halloween. Pretty, pretty much Halloween costumes, traditions, things like that. Um, for me, my most memorable Halloween was when I was probably five. My grandmother made me a pumpkin costume. Um, I was pretty much a gangster in it. And instead of like a normal person, like stuffing it full of newspaper or fluff or whatever, she used like couch cushions and couch pillows. And anyone that has ever been raised by a Sicilian grandmother, um, everything in their house is coated in plastic. Their couch is covered in a plastic cover. Lampshades are plastic. The carpet has like plastic runners everywhere. So I had like a hundred pounds of plastic covered pillows and cushions in this costume thing, in this huge pumpkin. And I was like sweating into this plastic and it was sticking to my skin and it was heavy so I'm like holding up my my pumpkinness trying to like walk upstairs to get fucking candy didn't work out so well but that was probably the best thing that I could really ever think cuz my grandma made it and I, I was super proud of it and I even wore the costume like for no reason just around the house cuz like I said I was a gangster um as a pumpkin in the middle of New York City full of plastic covered couch cushions Another Halloween that I really dug was probably a couple years later, probably more than a couple years later, probably 11, 10 or 11, and I was a vampire, and at this point my sister was born and she was, I don't know, three, four, whatever, and she was a witch, and, you know, she kept saying, I want to be a witch, I want to be a witch, so whatever, she's a witch, so I'm a vampire and I've got bloody fangs and all kinds of horrible things and I'm ready to go, and in New York, it's like a billion degrees below zero, by Halloween, so we're all bundled up in like crazy outfits. And she goes in the bathroom to look at herself in the mirror and then gets scared um, because she didn't know what a witch looked like. So she like comes running out screaming, top of her lungs like a psycho, so that Bloody Mary was in the bathroom. You know, because when, when you're a kid, you go in the bathroom and you're like, say Bloody Mary three times, you know, that dumb shit. And she was like, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary's in the bathroom. And I laughed so hard, I almost peed in my vampire pants. Um, I laughed in her face, and I, I pointed while I laughed. I was like, ha, ah, you're stupid. Um, so those are probably my, <laughs> my two most memorable Halloweens. Now, so mu not, you know, now, not so much. I don't really dress up or anything now. I just have candy for all those little nappy-headed kids that come by. Um, maybe next year, actually, I think I will. I'll maybe try to dress up and do something like that. But I haven't in several years. I uh, know, that's a lie. I went to a costume party a few years ago and I dressed as a woman. Um, that was, um, it, it was stupid. <laughs> it didn't look so well. I mean, I never made a very good girl anyway, so I don't know why I'd think I'd make one good for Halloween. Um, but those were my memorable, this is a really short video, and I'm really sorry about that. I mean, I don't know what, I don't know much to say about Halloween other than I dig candy. Um, as a kid, we used to go ahead and take eggs, and I'd store them in my basement during the summer, which is like 4,000 degrees, like right behind my furnace, and let them sit there for months, unrefrigerated, so they would rot and get funky on the inside. And then we'd throw them at people. That was fantastic. We also would take um, like a pin, like a thumbtack, and make a hole in the top and the bottom of the egg and blow out the yolk, um, blow out all the gunk on the inside and fill them with nair, and then seal them up with a little bit of crazy glue and some white out to cover the, the hole and throw them at people. That was fantastic. To see kids come to school with big missing chunks of hair, that probably made me happier <laughs> than, than anything. Um, I was more pranking on Halloween than I was going door to door. I mean, I'd go door to door and I'd get candy. Don't get me, I mean, I'm a fat ass. Of course I want candy. But a lot of it was spent throwing eggs and TPing houses. And there was a lady that lived on our street. Her name was Agnes, and she was super crazy. She was like that one house everyone has growing up, like on their block that's the haunted house. It was like dirty and decrepit, and the shrubs were like growing out past the street, and it was just a huge mess. And, um,. My washing machine's on, freak me out. And um, we would walk by her house Halloween and try to like sneak up to the house and then she'd peer in the windows and make us all shit on ourselves. 
because we were pretty sure that she was a witch and she was going to eat us. But that was pretty much my Halloweens. I was really a bastard as a kid. Um, I was probably a giant asshole throwing, throwing nair-filled, rotten filth bombs at people, but that's how I rolled. So that is my Halloween experiences, and I can't wait to hear everybody else's. Peace out. Namaste.